Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. So I had this idea in my phone for a while on my idea list. I actually think it was a suggestion from one of you guys to do a palette bingo with my influencer collab palettes. And I thought that was a really cool idea and I've been wanting to do it for a while. And this month I decided to do it because I've been uploading a ton of content. And I decided to reach out to my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner to see if she wanted to collab and do this with me. I knew that she had a lot of like collab palettes as well and she has some that I don't have so she's actually going to be using three different palettes than I use but all of the palettes that we use today are going to be influencer collab brand palettes collabs I don't know how I'm going to word it yet in the title but essentially all the palettes used are going to be palettes that were in collaboration with an influencer big or small it doesn't matter they are all influencer collabs I did want to give a big thank you to Annette for agreeing to collab with me she is such a fantastic person I love her content I'm sure you're already subscribed to her if you're subscribed to me she has grown so much I'm so proud of her she creates such fun colorful looks she does really creative videos I really enjoy her if you aren't subscribed to her I highly recommend checking her out I will have her down in the description box she's been one of my friends here on YouTube for the longest time and I'm just so grateful to have her as a friend thanks Annette for collabing I can't wait to see what you get with your bingo I'm not gonna tell you what palette she's using because I want it to be a surprise but go hop over to her channel when you're done with this video and see which influencer collab palettes she chose the three palettes that I chose to use are the blush tribe Paulina palette this is no longer available um, and unfortunately, Blush Tribe is closing down, but I love this palette. I'm so happy I got to support Paulina. I'm so happy that I got to try Blush Tribe and experience these shadows. This color story is so fun. I love the way these colors play together. The mattes blend like butter. The shimmers are so pretty. I love this palette. It brings me so much joy looking at it. This is such a good one. Paulina killed it with this palette. The next one that I decided to go with is the Queen palette from Fumi and Juvia's Place. It looks like this. This is advertised as like a multi-use palette. I do think you can still get this palette and I quite enjoy it. The blush is what I'm using as my blush today. It's one of my favorite blushes in my collection. I have a little bit of this highlight topped on a different one that I'm going to talk about soon. They work great on the face. They work beautifully on the eyes and I personally love the combination of reds, purples, pinks on the eyes. I just think it's so beautiful. And the last one I chose is the Midas Cosmetics Smoky Glow Palette. You guys know I'm obsessed with this palette. Hannah killed it with this color story. The mattes are so beautiful and blendable. They're so easy to work with. The shimmers are so shiny and lovely. Leno and Nutty specifically are so special and just insane. I really hope I get those drawn. I use group chat a little bit mixed in with that Fumi highlight shade I told you about as my highlight today because it's such a beautiful highlight. I was going to leave it by itself but I can't guarantee that I'm going to get a full-on pink look so I wanted to make it a little less pink but regardless this is a beautiful palette and I'm obsessed with it. I guess we should draw our shades. I'm going to be randomly generating two shades from each palette and we will have six total to work with. My guess is it's going to be something pink. I kind of went with my pink wig today to go with that, but we'll see what happens. This wig is a Christmas wig off Amazon, by the way, as always. We're gonna do the Paulina palette first. I have it set one to nine, and I'm gonna draw two shades. We got four and one. Ooh, we got some greens. We got humble, and we got friends. At least we got some mattes, that makes me happy. Palette bingo stress me out if I get nothing but shimmers. Ooh, it's gonna be so cute. Might be doing a nice pinky green look. For the Fumi palette, I have it set one to six. We got number five and we got number six. Okay, two more mattes. We got sister to sister and we got seven. Peachy tone, pinky tone. All right, this is where we're at so far. All right, I set it from one to 18. We got number 13 and we got number 18. We got Hello, which is a really pretty shiny pink, and we got Dofa, which is a dark shimmer. It kind of stresses me out because if the darkest shade in my color palette, like I like my darkest shade to be a matte, not necessarily a shimmer. So that does throw me off a little bit, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure it out. I'm really excited by this color story. I think it's very fun. I don't know what exactly I'm going to create, but I'm going to prime my eyes with my Alter Ego eyeshadow base, zoom you guys in, and we'll get started. All right, we're zoomed in, and really quick, um, I said this in my favorite glosses video, but I have been messing around with my camera settings, and I have it set to a different setting where it should just stay focused on my face, but if things go blurry at all, that's why. Just 
bear with me, I'm trying to learn new things. All right, I'm primed and ready to go. I didn't set it because I do prefer a slightly tacky base. And I have a vague idea of what I wanna do. I think I wanna play with that peach and that pink in my crease. And I wanna play with the shimmers across the lid. I'm just gonna have it go from the dark in the outer corner and then fade into the light. And I'll probably use Friends as my highlight as well, like the inner corner. And then I wanna smoke out the greens on the lower lash line. I think that'll be really pretty. But we're just gonna see, I'm excited. Dipping into Sister to Sister from the Juvia's Place palette first, I'm gonna use my ColourPop E2 brush. And this is just gonna go all through my crease. This color story is a little bit challenging as well because pinks and greens you have to be a little bit careful with because red and green are complementary. So if you blend them right on top of each other, they can muddy out and pink is a variation of red. So you just have to be a little bit careful with greens and pinks. So I do wanna play with them together because they're gonna look so cute together but I don't want them to blend together because I'm not trying to create mud on my eyes. I want it to be very cute and very vibrant. Oh, I just love this shade. It's so pretty as an eyeshadow or as a blush. It's just flawless. I'm gonna take that pink seven from the Juvia's Place palette now. This is an e.l.f. tapered blending brush, yes. And I'm actually gonna tap that off a little bit. There's a lot of pigment there. I'm just gonna start pressing that onto my crease and blending it through. I really hope I'm in focus. It's so hard for me to see on my little viewfinder. And I'm out of contact, so I can only see like to my mirror <laughs> before it's blurry. It's such a pretty pink and it matches this wig so beautifully. I'm gonna take that ColourPop brush now. I don't have any additional product on it. I'm just using what was already on the brush. Just going to fluff out the edge. Oh, I just love that. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and start working on the lower lash line because I just feel like it. I'm gonna take um, Humble First from the Paulina palette and I'm gonna take a little pencil brush. This one specifically is the Morphe MB18. Just gonna take that and press that really close to my lashes on the lower lash line. Now that that's laid down, I'm gonna dip back into the blush dry palette and take Friends, that brighter one. Now I'm doubting if those are the numbers I got. They're definitely the numbers I got. Um, this is a Kaleidos S2 brush. And I'm just going to use that to really smudge out this lower lash line. I'm gonna be careful as I get out here. I don't really want to blend into my pink because again, I'm not trying to create mud out here. I'm really just focusing it downward. And I really want it just very blown out, smoked out, colorful, fun. Because why not? Makeup is just fun. Today's Saturday to some things. I don't have my watch on me. 11th. Not that I'm working anyways, but today's just a Saturday. We're not going anywhere, obviously. And even if I was, I would totally wear this look. I don't even know why I'm justifying why I'm doing this at home. I would wear this anywhere. I love this bright light green so much. I think it's so pretty. Oh, I love this already. Okay, let's start working on my lid. I am gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer because I like to use this with every shimmer ever, as most of you know. I'm gonna start with the darkest shade first and I'm gonna use this little Spectrum A13. It's just a really small, dense packing brush. And I want a small brush because I don't want this to take up a ton of my eye. I'm really just using this as like my outer corner. Just tapping some of that glitter primer. Just in the outer corner, I'll go back in with more for the rest of the lid when I use my other brush. And I'm gonna take Dofa. I'm just gonna put some of that on the brush. It's a really pretty shade. Dark shimmer is just not where I thrive, and especially since there isn't really a dark, dark matte in this palette bingo. It stresses me out a little bit, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take my brush that I have with the pink. I'm not gonna take any additional product though. And I'm just gonna start really smudging out the edge just to help it kind of blend up into the pink. So it just looks like I have some depth out here. Just kind of taking my time with this. I'm holding the edge of my brush so I don't have too much pressure. And I'm just very lightly smudging out this edge. It's actually seeming to work out pretty well. I'm gonna take my bigger ColourPop brush now and again, no additional product, just to really help fluff this outer part. That seems okay, actually. It's pretty. Let's finish up the other shade, though. <laughs> Just gonna take some more NYX Glitter Primer on another brush. This one is from SL Miss Glam. It's the N15. And this is gonna get pressed all on my lid as well. Not doing any kind of cut crease today. Gonna take Hello, that other shade from the Smoky Glow palette. And I'm just really gonna press this across the lid. And I just want this to blend into the dark. 
up into my crease. Like I don't want the shimmer in my crease, but I just want it to blend into my crease shade. I'm going to wipe off the brush I have with the bright pink just because there was some residual dark in there. But I'm just gonna use that just to again help kind of smudge. I feel like it's actually blending into the other shimmer really easily. I think it's really cool actually. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna take my pinky with Hello and pop that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight shade. Oh, I really like it. I really hope I was in focus for at least most of this. I'm going to pop in my eye pencil, finish the other eye, lashes, lip, all that stuff, and I will be back when I'm done. All right, I'm back. This is the look complete and I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. Goodness, I love it. I just love the way these colors play together and I actually really like the look of that dark shimmer even though it kind of scared me at the beginning since I didn't have a dark matte. I think it all flows really well. These shimmers are so pretty. All of these mattes blended like butter. I'm a fan of this look. <laughs> the eye pencil I decided to go with is Gotcha from LA Girl. I just really wanted to enhance that green lower lash line some more. Lashes are Lady Killer from Rouge and Rogue, but at this point I have cut them a bit, so it's pretty much just my outer corner, and I think they look very cat-like. It's very cute. And on my lip, I took my hook, line, and sinker from Menagerie Cosmetics, and I just kind of tapped it out. So it's not like full opacity, but it's pretty much full opacity. I built it up a lot. <laughs> I love this look. Annette, thank you so much for collabing with me on this fun idea. I thought it was cool to bust out my influencer palettes. I can't wait to see what look you got. I can't wait to see what color combination you have to work with. I think you're going to get something pretty unique based on what I know you're using. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to leave me either a pink or green emoji to go with my look. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.